So guys, this is the first site that I've built using Bricks and WooCommerce. I'm using the new Bricks widgets to lay out the cart in this case. Sorry, not the cart, the checkout. I've renamed it to the quote cart. Uh, we're using this as a quoting system, not as an e-commerce store. Uh, so um, what I wanted is at the checkout, you can enable in WooCommerce that the user can log in at the checkout. And when you do, it adds a little link where they can log in uh, and then it displays a form. Um, what I found is that is there's no provision in Bricks to allow for that properly. Um, so what I've ended up doing is putting a button on the editor. Uh, and when you click the button, it opens up a modal which has the login form in it. Now the problem happens because if we look at the DOM on this page here, so at the top of the page, we've got our body, uh, we've got our header, and then we've got this here, this article, WooCommerce uh, container here, and then we've got a form, that's an empty container, oh, that's the before checkout stuff, and then our form wraps all of the content. So if we look at the actual quote cut page, I'm just going to bring that up another checkout here. Is that anything? So at the very top of the page, I've got my page hero, okay? And what's happening with that is that that whole content, this entire content of the editor is getting wrapped in this uh, article, then WooCommerce with a before checkout container, and then a form. And so all of this content is within there, which means we can't put the login form within that DOM structure because you can't have a form within a form. It just doesn't work. So what this is doing, if I actually enable in Woo, if I enable the uh, allowing the customer to log in at the checkout, which I'll rename the quote card, save that. What it's doing is it's actually putting the form above our content. So, and there's no way to move this. Uh, you could make it, you could change it so that it's absolutely positioned and stick it somewhere on the, and add some padding at the top here. Uh, I think it's ridiculous that you have to do that. It's just, uh, it makes it really messy and really hard to control. Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. I'm just getting over a cold here. Um, but it makes it really messy. So I didn't like the idea of having to uh, position this to try and get it working. So what I've done instead, I'm going to turn that back off. Just going to refresh that page. There we go. So what I've done instead, if we go back to the quote card, where's my quote card? There we go. So here's my quote card checkout, whatever. So I've just got standard content there. So I've added a button here. And on that button, I've got a conditional. And basically, it's only if the user is logged in. Uh, sorry, not logged in. So if the user logged in, is false and this is a standard PHP function sorry uh, yes a standard um, WordPress function um, so we just put the function name there in bricks you don't need the brackets the um, you don't need to do this for a function uh, just the function name will work and it's going to echo out false if the user is not logged in and true if the user is logged in. So we want this to display that button when the user is not logged in. So we set it to false, and that button's going to display. Uh, on that button, all I've done is added a, a link to pound or hash, wherever what part of the world you come from. You might call it something different. Uh, and I've added a class which I've called open checkout login. All right, now the next bit I'm going to show you here is if we look at the footer. Okay, in the footer, I've got a couple of modules. One is my quick quote, which is by just a basic form for uh, requesting a quick quote. Uh, and the second one is the checkout login which is a, and these, by the way, these are Bricks Extras modals. I love these because you just chuck them on the editor, put your content underneath them, control what your modal is going to do from here. So if you're using a uh, Bricks built-in modal or native modal or anything else, you do it differently, 
but I love the way that uh, David's done this with uh, Bricks Extras. So I'm always using this. I'm putting it in the footer. All right, now, so the footer's there. So the, that checkout login is going to display when the open checkout login class, any element with open checkout login class is clicked. So if I click on this button here, uh, which has the open checkout login class, then this modal is going to detect that and it's going to open up for me. All right, and then you just all I've got on that modal is a code block and it's just PHP and I've copied this. I'm just going to bring this up. I wasn't going to do this, but I think I should. If we go to the actual, so just under the WordPress plugin and look at our form login. So there's our form login there. All I've done is copy this code here, which actually outputs the form. I'm not worrying about all that stuff there, just the bit that outputs the form. I've copied that and I've pasted that in there. Uh, and I've just got a conditional to say if the user is not logged in. So if not user is logged in, it's exactly the same as what we did with our button. Uh, so when the user is not logged in, we want to display this form. Now, by default, WordPress hides the form automatically hides the form uh, on the page uh, and it um, yeah it automatically hides the form so what we're doing is using a jQuery so WooCommerce is all still jQuery based we're looking for the login form and telling it to show the form otherwise it will just show up as a blank form a, a collapsed form in the modal uh, I'm actually just going to add another conditional to this whole thing because uh, I just thought about this I probably should do the same as what I did here and just add this whole add this on the modal let's get rid of the modal if it's not if the user's not logged in that's probably a better way of doing it so we don't need extra DOM elements uh, if the uh, user is not logged in so uh, well, dynamic Uh, oh, look at interactions. We want conditionals, not interactions. Oh, no, I couldn't find it. Dynamic data. So, same thing if the user is logged in equals false, we want this whole modal to show. All right. Now, let's have a look at that. Uh, all right. So, Let's go back to that code. So that code is basically if the user is not logged in, show the WooCommerce form, which we copied from the WooCommerce template and use this little jQuery script here to tell it to show the form, which hides by default. Um, OK, let's go back to our incognito window. Just make sure that's all still working. Yes, it is. So there's our form there. So the reason this works is if we look at the actual form, the form here is in the in a modal. That modal is in the footer, which sits outside of that article there. Uh, and the article here is what's got the form wrapper in it. So we can't put it inside this form because it's the form, but by putting in the footer or in the header, uh, it will display properly. So there we go. That's pretty much the solution to getting this working. I think it's reasonably eloquent, uh, but uh, let me know what you think.